About 100,000 Nubians live in Kibera, one of the biggest slums in Africa. Kibera's population is made up of almost one million people from different parts of Kenya. Nubians are descendants of soldiers who were transported forcefully from Sudan by the British colonial government in the 1920s. They were enlisted to fight for the British Army in the First and Second World Wars as part of the King's African Rifles. Then, as a token, the Nubians were settled in an area that was in colonial days prime land in Kenya. They called it Kibra, which means forest in Arabic. But the British never gave the Nubians title deeds and the land is still owned by the government. Abdul Faraj is a scholar and a Nubian elder who campaigns for his community's rights. He blames the situation in Kibera today on corruption and says part of Kibera should be given back to the Nubians. As a result of this huge rural urban migration, uh, uh, aided and abated by the administration, uh, namely chiefs uh, and DOs in Kibera, uh, they arrogated to themselves the right to allocate land to their cronies, of course, for money. Very, very uh, corrupt practice. And this drew quite a lot of people into Kibera. This is our argument. A proper decongestion of Kibra and then allocating it as a single block to the Nubians, the remaining some 800 acres. Everyone is entitled to their own land, but they need to go to the government instead of implying that the Luyas, the Kisis, the Kikuyus should leave because the area belongs to the Nubians. That is not right. George Olali and his family moved from a two-room mud house to this three-bedroom flat. The government plans to keep people here temporarily as they work on rebuilding the entire slum over the next nine years. Kuna tofauti kubwa sana. Ile nyumba nilitoka kwanza haina hata madirisha. There is such a big difference here. Our old house did not even have windows. This one has good ventilation and indoor plumbing, a toilet and a bathroom, things I did not have before. The Nubian ties to Kenya are in Kibera, and like everyone else, they want life here to get better. If the plans to upgrade the slum are going to work, the government cannot afford to ignore issues that could affect the future of all the people who call Kibera their home.